Should your hair be layered? That is the topic of today's video. And what I want to do is help you understand what layers actually do because I get so many comments and people asking me, should my hair be layered? What should I tell my barber? You know, all that type of stuff. So layering literally is a technique used by professionals, whether you're a hairstylist or barber to the hair. It's simply a technique. And what layering does and what it's designed to do is to remove weight. So let me explain what that means. If you've got very, very thick hair, what happens is if the hair is not layered, it's going to simply just lay very, very flat with little to no movement whatsoever. That is going to cause a lot of problems, especially if you're trying to get your hair to go back. If you want it to sweep over one way, it's going to be so heavy, it's literally just going to lay flat like this because of the weight. So when you layer the hair and this mannequin is layered, <clears throat> what the technique does and how it's supposed to be done is by holding the hair up on a variety of different angles, but it's holding the hair up and cutting the hair to remove the weight. The shorter the hair is, right? The shorter the hair is, uh, as far as when you, or the more you cut, I should say, the more layers you're going to have. Now, that's not necessarily a great thing because, for example, let's take this haircut. If I hold it and it's, say, just a finger's length away from the scalp, that means if I cut all this hair off, you're going to have a finger's length like this of hair on top. It's kind of common sense, but it's going to be that short. So now if we extend the fingers a bit more this way, as you can see here, what's going to happen is we're going to have this amount of length like that. We're going to have this amount of length that's going to fall. And if we bring this all the way up this way and we cut just the top section right here, that means that all of this hair is going to fall down. So the longer the hair is on top, the longer the layers are going to be and the lower the movement or the flow is going to be. If you cut it very, very short, yes, it's not going to be so heavy, but do you really, really want short layers? And also when it comes to layering, there's something you need to really understand, and it's something called balance. So if you've got a haircut where the layers are so short, but this is really, really long, it just may not blend well, and it could look really, really bad, and it's going to look very unbalanced. So you have to make sure that the layering really matches up with the length of your hair. So in this particular situation, we'll get a little bit closer, you could see that the hair has a flow to it. Those layers allow the hair to move, okay? It allows the hair to move freely, and you could see, even by me raking, all of these pieces in here are layers. If this was all one length, then it wouldn't be able to move as freely as that. Let's take example, an example with short hair, right? You could even have layers with short hair, and it's very, very necessary. If this was all one length coming forward this way and these bangs were only cut to here, it would look horrible. So all of this short hair on top, especially if you're getting your hair cut and whoever's cutting it is cutting off length, they're actually layering your hair. So it's something to really keep in mind and understand that even if you have a short haircut, uh, and whatever you see your stylist or professional doing, they're layering it to create a shape. So yes, it removes weight, but it also creates texture. That's something that's really important to understand about layers. So let's just take uh, an example of another haircut that has a bit uh, of layering, but the hair is a little bit longer. As you can see, we'll run our fingers through it and look how nicely this flows in. But keep in mind and take note of the length. The length is down through here. Now, if I had these layers way up here and it was like the layers are started up here, that's totally fine if it was cut properly and really, really evenly blended throughout the entire haircut. So wherever you cut, the first section that you cut, that's where it's going to fall. So remember when I said, the longer you leave the length on the layering, the more it's going to fall down and the longer it's going to the lower the layering is going to be. The more you hold it up and the higher you cut, it's only going to travel to where you cut it. So the more you cut, be careful. You don't want to over layer your hair. But keep in mind the balance, like I mentioned. 
when I run my fingers through it, all right, you're seeing the layering in through here, and that's what I want. So if you see a particular haircut that you want of an actor or some sort of, you know, whoever it is, and you're seeing that their hair is getting that flow down and through here, that's because the layers are brought up to that point, so this will fall to this area right through here. That's how you get that. And is it something that you can explain to your stylist or your barber? You shouldn't have to. If, if, if that professional does not understand layering, then I would go find somebody else because they shouldn't be really cutting hair. Or it's not their specialty. Here's an example of what happens when the hair is really, really long and there's no layers. <clears throat> you can see the hair just wants to lay flat. And this is very, very common with people who want to grow their hair out or who may have longer hair. The biggest problem is, oh, Stephen, my hair just lays flat. You can see it just drops down and there's, there's, there's no movement to it, right? It just kind of droops down and that's it. No, no life. That's where layering would actually, sorry, I wasn't talking to you, Siri. Um, that's where layering would come in handy because in this situation, once again, the shorter you cut the layers, that's where it's going to fall. You don't want to cut layers really, really short, but what you want to do is create something kind of in the middle so that as it falls, it lays in the right place. All right. So layers really, again, is a technique that is very, very useful. And then last but not least, let's take this mannequin right here, which I did uh, not that long ago on my channel. You can see that all of this is layered, heavily, heavily layered. This is kind of like my, my mullet haircut tutorial that I did. And by raking my fingers through, look how high the layering starts. It's starting way up here. And guess what? That's how long it is. So I really hope that this gave you all a really good insight. And this goes for men and women, right? It doesn't really matter. Layering is a technique that's used on every single human being. So if you run your fingers through it, wherever you cut, how short you cut it, that's where it's going to fall, all right? And hopefully this gives you guys a really uh, better understanding of what layering does and if your hair needs it. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.